Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV and Boat. Today I'm going to be looking at a portable solar panel, 400 watt solar panel, from a company called Renogy. Now I've used Renogy over the years on my RV. My roof has actually uh, six Renogy panels on it. I have a Renogy panel on my truck toolbox. And also use their 40 amp DC to DC charger. Um, all that stuff I bought myself and I've had good luck with it. Recently they contacted me asking if I'd like to review some of their products. One thing that piqued my interest was a new 400 watt folding solar panel that they're coming out with. You can see it here in its case. So unlike uh, a lot of the portable panels, um, a lot of them are kind of like a flexible panel and I've used a few of those, uh, one from EcoFlow and one from AO Lithium. They seem to work okay at the start, but because they're kind of flexible, I think they start to bend a lot and they kind of lose some of their power over the years. They usually start out good and then kind of slowly degrade a bit. Um, this one, though, is kind of a hybrid between, it's not a glass, they're not glass panels. I've used glass panels in the past for my portable ground panel, but they're heavy. Um, they're very durable and they, they keep their output for a long time. But this is kind of a hybrid between. It's got a fiberglass backing and kind of plastic frames on it. So it's not like the thin flexible panels and not glass. So we'll take it apart and set it up for you. Um, and then we'll kind of do some tests on it. So it comes with a nice canvas bag here. It's got a front pocket where you can store things like cables. I had them send me out uh, 20 foot cables just so we can do kind of a test away from the RV like you would do with a ground panel. And this is all zippered and zips to get at the panels. And then it's got sort of a Velcro arrangement here and zippers on the handle that unzip. So we'll unzip that and set things up for you. Give you a look. So that was my second time unfolding it. A little, still a little bit awkward, but it's pretty easy to take apart. Give you a closer look at the construction here. So you can see it's got these kind of rigid frames and then a fiberglass backing to the panels. It has uh, aluminum kickstands here. That can uh, adjust to different angles. And then it looks like we have four panels all strung together and in between they have junction boxes on each panel and then wires that go back and forth. Got some hinges in here. And then two of them have handles. So when they're squished together you got a handle to carry it. And we'll go down here to the specs. Max power 400 watts. Optimum operating voltage 40 volts, optimum operating current 10 amps, open circuit voltage 47.2 volts, which is good with the higher voltage. Uh, it's a uh, bet you can use the uh, thinner wires and still get the power transfer compared to like a 12 volt panel. Anyway, I'll post a link to their their website so you can get a deeper look at the specs. And down here they have a little rubber stoppers for the kickstands when you fold them up. And then here's their main input. And we got a pair of MC4 connectors coming out of that. Just wanted to give you a good look at the back side before I set it up and you can see the front side. Okay, there we go. Be the standard setup. up. 
seems like it would be pretty uh, good for wind, especially if it was blowing towards it. Also, these things, you could probably stake them into the ground or put something heavy like a sandbag on each of those to help with wind as well. Um, these handles could come in handy if you wanted to run a cable through the handles and maybe even the, the stands and then you could uh, lock it up to the rig when you're not around so they don't walk off. But yeah, kind of like these as opposed to the glass ones I've used. I've used glass ones in the past, but they were kind of awkward and heavy and had to deploy four of them to get 400 watts. And then, like I say, the flexible panels have their disadvantages. I'll just give you a look at uh, power output. First of all, I'll give you a clip that I did when I was still down in... Uh, California had a good sunny day with high sun and I did some uh, wattage tests so we'll give you that clip and then we'll come back and test it out here right now I'm out on the Oregon coast mid-April obviously I'm at sea level okay so let's set it up set it up for my first test here and I'm getting about 310 watts it's early April. I'm in Southern California, pretty close to the uh, same latitude as about San Francisco here. So that's not too bad. It's a 400 watt panel, but we're not in midsummer or anything, so it's still putting out uh, 308 watts. My bat that's on into my battery there. So I'm getting 22.32 uh, amps at 13.2. 8 volts. The panel's putting out 32.9 volts at 8.3 amps. I'll give you a look at the setup here. The sky's a little bit hazy. We're kind of in a vineyard here and it is in the Central Valley. So not very far above sea level. So we got a lot of haze in here from all the farming too. So that would cut down the output but so far so good it's pretty impressive for a, a folding uh, portable panel a couple more tests for you first we'll do open circuit test it's like 46.8 volts there 46.9 47 I'm not in full sun right now but I got quite a bit of sun and short circuit test of current See, we're up around 12, 12.4, 12.3 amps. As the sun's varying right now, it's a few clouds. Okay, do a test here. I've got it wired into my main controller in my RV. I've turned off the other solar panels. Right now we're getting near 300 watts, 321. I did see it go higher. It kind of like it's 10 a.m. Skies are a little bit overcast, but I'm getting a little bit of a cloud flare happening. A lot of times that boosts you up even more. So we'll just have a look here, see how high it'll go. Okay, actually I have a bit of a cloud flare happening. And I'm seeing 444 watts. Um, solar panel 38.6 volts, 11.47 amps. And into my battery, I'm getting 12.5 volts, 31.24 amps. So that's pretty good. Now this is in typical conditions. If you look up in the sky, I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of times if you get the sun right on the edge of a cloud, you get a little bit uh, higher uh, output on your solar panels. But that proves it can go up over 400 watts in the right conditions. Anyway, it's around 10.25 right now. I'm going to wait until peak solar, probably sometime about one o'clock or so. Hopefully we'll have sunny skies. It's looking good right now, but we do have clouds coming and going on the coast here. And we'll kind of see what we can get here. Stay tuned. One thing I should mention for this test is the temperature right now outside. <clears throat> it's only around uh, 45 degrees. So that's really good for solar panels. They don't like to get too hot. 
probably in my California test it was more like around I don't know 75 degrees or something so they were heating up quite a bit more in the Sun so I think that's why I saw such a, a large amount of wattage coming in but like I say we'll wait till uh, around 1 o'clock and hope for some clear sky to do a, a test when it warms up a bit but so far I'm pretty impressed with the, the output so I was able to get some clear sky right around uh, mid midday and uh, able to get about 385 watts of power out of the panel. So that's pretty good. I'll just give you a quick look at some of the specs in case you're wondering. The weight is right around 30 pounds, so not too bad for 400 uh, watts of solar. Dimensions quite long, 111.8 inches by 33.7 inches by 0.8 inches thick. Um, when it's folded up, it's 27.9 by 33.7 by 3.2 inches. As far as pricing goes, right now they see it seems to be the retail price is 999.99. It seems to be on for 659.99. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm gonna continue to use this. We got another uh probably month or month or almost month and a half in the rv so i get a chance to uh use it more testing and then uh we get on our boat um june i'm going to try to figure out how i can uh, use it on the boat as well so i'll be back with a with a longer term look at it and give you a review of how it's uh stood up to uh my abuse <laughs> till next time ray from love your rv and boat yours guys